Hi everyone, this is Downloads from the Divine. I am here to do the Twin Flame Daily Reading for today, December 28th of 2018. Happy Friday, everyone. We made it to another Friday and um, I am always sending y'all lots of love and light. I hope you all are taking care. Um, we're about to move into the start of uh, a new year and um, yeah, so I'm trying to think of doing something um, uh, what I'm going to do in terms of like a reading or something for the new year. I have a couple of ideas. I might do um, an extra extra reading um, for the new year. Um, I may do something a little different. Um, just do a Lenormand spread. I've used the Lenormand cards to clarify um, readings. I use those in the readings to do clarification, but actually doing some type of like a little Norman spread or something like that. I'll look to see what I'm wanting to do. Um, just a little bit different, like a special extra new year's, um, new year's, um, day reading. Okay. All right, y'all. So, um, yes, thank you so much for your support of the channel. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and thank you for your likes and your shares and the beautiful messages that you send. I can't say it enough. I will always say it, but I really do appreciate the support. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This is a twin flame focus channel. Um, these readings are for the energies of both the divine masculine and the divine feminine. I always say this, um, it's impossible. This is a general reading. So it's impossible for these readings to resonate with everyone. I'm always praying that they can res they can resonate with as many folks as possible. Okay. And these readings are also gauging energy day to day as well. I am on Instagram and I do spreads over there. There may be some messages over there that resonate with you. And then I do also offer uh, personal services and I'm, I have personal reading options as well as I'm on instant go. All of that information is in the description box below. Okay. All right. That's my spiel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start. Uh, this is the Tarot of Dreams deck that's by Chiro Marchetti. And we'll be using that today. And I will be clarifying with the Gypsy Oracle deck that's also known as the Sibylas. And then I will be pulling a Romance Angel Oracle card at the end of the reading. Okay, y'all? All right, let's get it going. do this one more time and then it'll feel good all right I'm gonna pull one card if more than one card comes out I'll take it as long as it's not the entire deck and then I always pull the card from the bottom and the top of the deck as part of that overall energy and then I'll look again at the bottom and the top of the deck okay all right y'all angels and spirit what messages do you have for the twin flame collective for December 28th of 2018. Thank you for all your guidance and clarity. That's it. Okay. This card came out earlier this week too. Okay, that's the Seven of Swords. It came out in a different deck I was using though. Okay, we got the Seven of Swords there. Okay, the top of the deck we've got Hanging man in the bottom of the deck, the two of wands. Okay. So this is, um, so just as a collective, I feel like what's happening with uh, 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 some of the, some twins is that we've got we've got like divine masculine that have had like a full realization of different types of behavior. Okay, um, and I do feel like I there is a wave of twins that there's um, there's 
there's a wave of twins that there's just like, they're, they're so close to coming actually into union within this lifetime that it's just a lot of things are really, um, really, really, um, like, like the energy and everything between these twins are just like really, really potent. And even in terms of just, um, I'm feeling just the, the, the energetic connection. And I've talked about before, I want to say it might have been yesterday or the day before that around just how one twin, when you're coming so close into union, um, so close to union, then one twin can have so much effect on the other twin and vice versa, even more so than already because you're a twin. So you're going to already have that. Um, but when you're coming so close to union for these, for this wave of twins, um, that I feel like I've been picking up on some energy for this wave of twins. When you're so close to that, then it's just an even more stronger, the, the, that bond and that energetic bond is even more stronger. I feel like what's happening, I feel like this is actually in this, this I actually feel like this is some divine feminine being put into a position of starting to look at decisions moving forward specifically when you when dealing with a divine masculine that was engaging in this type of behavior with the seven of swords and I feel like we've had divine masculine some divine masculine that have looked at this type of behavior themselves um and 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 they regret that okay and they're having some um because this all this leads to and I'll talk more about the seven of swords it just leads to mental conflict it doesn't help at that time, you feel like you're, you know, getting away or, you know, being, being sneaky or cunning and you're do you're getting away with doing something or sneaking away or avoiding something, but you actually, and you, 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 you're not, and that's just the, the law of the universe. Okay. And karma and, and the law of the universe, you're never going to, you you, you never really truly get away with something. Okay. Um, and there's been a realization with some divine masculine, I feel around that. I do feel like divine feminine have also had to look at that as well. And we have divine feminine that are being put into positions of looking at and making decisions and choices. And this is what this is about. Um, this is about, I feel some divine feminine energy here. We got the hanging man here. Hanging man is when you completely, um, and this is a really cool depiction of the hanging man here in this deck. But this is when you take a pause and you completely look at something from like a, a, a different perspective, completely look at it differently. And what happens is, is you pick up on those different things that you may have missed. Specifically, it's about this. It's about this. It's about this uh, behavior um, that with the divine masculine. And like I, I've, I've also I believe I said one day is that divine feminine looking at. Looking at that and looking at how your twin, what your twin is doing and how, because your twin is a mirror. So looking at what your twin is doing and what that is showing for you and you and your path forward and what you're, what you're needing to heal and work on as well. Okay. But looking at this type of behavior and then also as a result of that, it's like making, this is a two of wands. It's a decision point. It's making a decision on how to move forward. Okay. Um, but that's what I feel. I feel like this actually we're picking up on some, um, divine feminine energy here. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and see what's at the bottom of the deck. Let's, oh, well, that's why. Okay. So, um, here is the queen of wands. <laughs> yeah. And we got the wand, we got the two of wands here. So this is, um, when I do journal readings, um, when a king comes out in a reading, the king is the divine masculine energy and you could be male or female in the divine masculine energy. And you could be male or female embodying the divine feminine energy. When the king comes out in a general reading, it's divine. It's the divine masculine energy. When a queen comes out, it's the divine feminine energy. This is divine feminine here and the queen of wands energy. And you can see that this is a pretty cool depiction of a queen right here. Okay. Um, this is a queen that is a go-getter. Okay. She embraces life. She's fiery. Um, but she embraces life, goes after what she wants. This is a queen that's not going to sit and wait. Okay. She's, she goes, she works, she goes, she, she moves forward. She's all with the wands energy. She's driven by passion and desire and moves forward. Okay. Uh, I do feel like this is divine feminine. We got this two of wands here. The only major kind of here on the table so far 
is the hanging man. And that's looking at something from a different perspective, okay? And I, I, I feel like with this uh, divine feminine, it's like looking at, you know, how do I want to move forward and move forward past being able to move forward past this? Because it's, it, this is, I feel, this seven of swords is like some past, some, um, past energy um, that, this, that this divine feminine has dealt with, okay? But it's like making a decision now on the path forward. Path forward specifically with divine masculine because I feel like what's happening is just that we've got we got this divine feminine here and this queen of wands, but I feel like what's happening is it's, it's going to it's making a decision because it's like making a decision with the divine masculine. I feel like what's happening here is that this divine feminine um, either has is about to come and actually have that have that uh, reunion with the divine masculine, or is about to. Okay, or has already started the, the start of that. So I feel like this divine feminine is either about just is just about to actually have that that reunion with the divine masculine or um, has started it. It's just the beginning start of it. But I feel like what's happening is that this divine feminine is having to make a decision here on the path forward with this divine masculine. OK, and how he or she wants to move forward with this divine masculine that is. I feel this divine masculine is this is divine masculine that's coming back and this divine feminine is being put is being put in this decision, this disposition. OK, I feel being guided, though, with the hangman that this divine feminine is being guided to look at things from a different perspective with this divine masculine and this type of behavior. OK. Well, let me look on the other side. There goes the other side of the deck. Oh, we got the tower. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I'm filling with this tower. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling with this tower. This is definitely this divine feminine. Something is happening with this divine feminine here. I feel with this tower, this is actually divine masculine that's returning. Okay. This is putting this divine feminine in the position of looking at this type of behavior. Either this divine masculine is starting to have that communication or when this divine masculine comes to has that reunion with the divine feminine. And this divine feminine is being, is being put in a position um, of of really looking at looking at things from a different perspective and making a decision. I'm even feeling with this tower. This could be some communication from the divine masculine about this seven of swords and what that what all happened with that. Okay, and this divine feminine is as a result of that. That is causing a tower moment because what it's doing is it's that. Um, this is the, the tower is the divine. Okay. Um, the, it's the divine that's moving things along because we will keep building upon faulty foundations and, and build and build and build cause we're human. And even when the, the divine's giving us messages to go ahead and to move forward, um, to guiding us, we'll ignore that and we'll just keep building and building and building. And as a result of that, um, the divine has to step in and basically move us along and tear that down. Okay. Tear that faulty, whatever we're building on that faulty foundation, just tear it down. Um, oh, I feel in this case, what's been happening between, we've got between twins is that there's, it's, it's time for movement specifically with this wave of twins. It's really time for these twins to really move, uh, these twins that are coming into union within this lifetime. And so it's, it's time for them to move and there's been a stagnation. Okay. And whatever that's been part of that stagnation, keeping things very stuck and stagnant. And I feel like that's what's happening with this tower. I do feel like this is related to some divine masculine. I feel like um, this divine feminine finding out some information, this divine masculine communicating with this divine feminine about this, about this seven of swords type of behavior and what all was going on with that. 
And as a result of that, with this tower, as a result of that, this divine feminine is having to look at something from a different perspective and make a decision on how to move forward with this divine masculine. Okay. There is a hope here. Another download I'm picking up on, I'm picking up on also with Divine Masculine. There's the Divine Masculine. This is the other download that I'm picking up on. I just heard it. Okay. There's this Divine Masculine, this Divine Feminine is dealing with. Um, there's Divine Mad. This Divine Masculine is really hoping that because... I feel like this is divine masculine that they recognize this type of behavior that they've engaged with, with this divine feminine. Okay. And they recognize that as being problematic. Okay. Um, and regretting it. And I feel like this is things that happen during like the karmic cycle as well. This divine masculine is also hoping, um, that this divine feminine will be able to look at things from a different perspective and be able to make a decision specifically moving forward with him or her. Okay. Um, that's also the message that I'm picking up with really hoping because this is a divine feminine here in this queen of wands. That's a queen of wands is like a boss energy too. And she's all about like moving forward. She's going to go forward. She has a she also could have an entrepreneurial spirit, just like her King of Wands counterpart. But she goes, she moves forward. She handles things, okay? She handles her, handles her business and moves forward. She embraces life. And so I feel like uh, that's the other download that I'm getting is just that we've got Divine Masculine that's really hoping that this Divine Feminine will be able to. Um, this is that, let me show you the Hanging Man. This is a pretty cool depiction of the Hanging Man here. Okay. Just completely looking at something from a different perspective and taking that pause to do that. This is what this divine masculine is hoping this divine feminine will do, but this divine feminine is being put in the position of having to do this at this point. Okay. Doing this, doing the hanging man. It is literally, you know, you're, you're literally are looking at something from a different perspective. You pick up the, you pick up things that you may have missed by doing that. Okay. It's not, this is the thing, this behavior. And let me talk about that. Let me talk about the seven of swords. This is what I'm hearing. This behavior there's no excuse for this. Okay. That's the thing you forgive, but this behavior, there's no excuse for it. But what I feel like what's happening here, you've got divine masculine that is communicating with this divine feminine about this type of behavior. It's understanding the why of why this behavior occurred. I feel like that's what's happening. And, and, and this divine feminine is, is now in a, is, is in a position of now looking at this from a different perspective and making a decision on how to move forward. So I feel like this tower is part of is That's the, that's the divine, um, masculine. I feel like it, I feel, I really feel it is divine masculine returning and communicating about this, um, about this type of behavior. And I feel like it's understanding the why of this. It's not excusing this. But it's understanding the why. The seven of swords, you can see this figure is sneaking away, holding five swords total and then sneaking away, like, like, stealing, like stealing these swords in the night and sneaking away. But you can see seven of swords, just like the five of swords, is the, they're lose-lose energies. Like no one wins with it. The person may think it's like a, a person may think it, at that moment that they are um, that they are winning, but they're not. Okay. They really are. They really aren't winning. Um, it all comes back. And like I talk about leaving just with the, the, the law of the universe as well and karma. Um, 
this is someone that was very, could have been just very sneaky, very cunning, um, was trying to get away. You can see, um, you can see the two swords left here. Okay. This is where, and, you, and this two swords is even, it's even closer to this divine feminine because by doing this, by this divine masculine engaging in this type of behavior, it left this queen of wand in the place of feeling, uh, mentally conflicted about moving forward. Okay. And, and, and a million conflicted about this, about this person doing this, that's that two of swords and having that mental conflict. But this figure is also has two swords tucked under, tucked under his arm and then has three swords on his back. Those two swords by him doing that, eventually he sneaks away. Let's say he does sneak away with these five swords. Well, those two swords tucked under his arm, eventually he's going to have mental conflict and because of, um, you know, sneaking away. But then also it, it, I feel like what happened is, is that this, this, this divine masculine now is at this place of like wanting to return after doing this. Okay. And then now they're in a place of mental conflict about how the divine feminine is going to react, uh, to him or her. But then, so they're mentally conflicted by doing this, but then you can also see there's three swords on this figure's back. That's that three of swords. So it's causing, it caused heartbreak to whoever that they were doing this to. So divine feminine, but then heartbreak to themselves for doing this with the three of swords. Okay. It's just the lose, lose energy. And when one twin is doing something to another twin, they're doing it to themselves. Okay. So this is what I feel is there's, I feel like what's happening is, is that it's going to be the explanation of why this happened, what was going on with this divine masculine and why this happened. Um, and then the divine feminine is now as a result of that, looking at that from a different perspective, we got the tower here. That's completely shaking everything up with the tower through this communication, I feel. And then making a decision with the two of wands about how to move forward. This is the two. You can see you got the two, the two uh, doorways or passages, um, portals that you can go through on this, on this card. Um, two of wands is a decision point. It's twos. Twos are all about those decision points and those forks in a row and in which way to go. Twos are also balancing too, balance. Um but two is this two of wands is about deciding which way with the wands, which way to move forward. Cause wands are all about movement and which way to move forward. And we've got this divine feminine that's in this queen of wands energy and, um, very much so with the, with the divine feminine being in that queen of wands energy, this divine feminine is all about movement. Okay. And moving forward and moving forward in his or her life. And so, um, this is definitely this divine feminine. I feel like having to make a decision about how to move forward with this divine masculine. Okay. All right. I'm go ahead and do some clarification with the Sibylas. Angels and Spirit, can you please clarify the Queen of Wands? Yeah. Got wife here. Okay. Um, in the Gypsy Oracle deck, this is why I was also picking up on we got Divine Feminine in a position now of where they're having to make a decision on how to move forward with the divine feminine, how they want to move forward. Okay. Looking at things from a different perspective, this divine masculine is hoping this divine feminine will also be able to look at things from a different perspective, but they're hoping this divine masculine is hoping looking at this from a different perspective that they will make a decision to move forward with the, with them this divine master is hoping this divine feminine will make the decision to move forward with them in light of this. Okay. In light of this seven of swords that occurred in the past. Okay. 
But this divine masculine is seeing this divine feminine as that, like as that wife. Okay. Uh, wife and, uh, and this is a general reading. So male or female, like wife or spouse, but it, it, this is a, it could be actually seeing a, seeing someone as being that wife, you know, like wanting to actually have a commitment, um, wanting to have like, wait, you know, get married, but it can also just be just seeing someone as a committed partner. Okay. And, um, so that's what I feel with this is that we've got this divine masculine that's seeing this divine feminine that's in this queen of wands energy as that, as being that committed partner that they, they're hoping that they can have in their life. Okay. At the bottom deck, we've got misfortune. Okay. There was misfortune. Okay. Specifically with this seven of swords here. There's regret with this type of, this type of energy with this divine masculine. Cause it's the hope. The hope is like I said, this divine feminine will be able to look at this from a different perspective on it, by understanding the why and choosing them. Okay. On the other side of the deck. Yeah. Yeah. So this is that letter. This is why I was feeling that this tower right here is communication from this divine masculine about this. Letter, this is showing the old, the old fashioned way of sending a communication with actually sending snail mail, but we have so many other different ways to communicate now. So just all the different ways we could communicate with phones and, you know, all the, even social media platforms, all of that stuff. Okay. We're going to go ahead and clarify this tower. Yep, they flipped out together. Thought and love. Okay. This is uh this I feel this is this divine feminine. Um I well okay, I'm I'm kicking up a couple of downloads with this. Divine feminine thinking about this, okay? Because I feel like this like I said, this is this divine masculine coming back and communicating. Or even if y'all just, if we got the twins that have started that communication, fully having that conversation um, about this, okay? Um, but this divine feminine thinking about this, you know, here's the thinking man here, um, thought with the thought, you know, see the figure, he's thinking very hard. This could be thinking about it. This could be plans as well, thinking about plans. Um, and then we've got, you know, we've got, um, love here. Okay. So I do feel, um, we got divine feminine being put into this position of thinking about, you know, thinking about this, especially with this divine masculine, also communicating, okay. To this divine feminine about everything. But then I also feel we've got divine masculine that they're also thinking, they're thinking about the love with this divine feminine hoping, really, really hoping that this divine feminine will choose him or her. Okay. Um, it, after all of this, after all of that conflict. Okay. Because this person, this figure uses the, the sneak away, uses the five of swords, uses that serious conflict to, to avoid a sneak away from something. Just, okay. At the bottom of the deck we've got with the tower fortune. Yeah. This divine mask is really thinking about, um, there's such a hope period that this divine mask is really hoping this divine feminine will choose to move forward with him or her. Okay. Um, but seeing this divine feminine as that fortune, being able to have that fortune and on the other side of the deck. Yeah. Well, we've got journey and merchant. These both came out. Okay. So, uh, I feel with this, with this merchant, I feel like this actually is, um, this is a, this is a counterpart because a merchant is like a businessman, businessman or businesswoman. I feel like this is a counterpart to this divine feminine. Um, it would be like the, it would be, it would be the king of wands because this would be like a king of wands energy. This merchant would, because a merchant is like is a, uh, has that entrepreneurial spirit could be a businessman and business, business, business owner. I mean, the King of Wands could be a businessman and a business owner, a uh, businessman, businesswoman. Um, and I feel like this is, 
this is that divine feminine's counterpart, this divine masculine, that wanting to have, be able to have a fortune and a journey to be able to start off on a new journey, okay? Have a new start. But hoping a divine feminine will make the decision to do that. I'm going to go ahead and um, clarify. We're going to clarify that seven of swords. Angels and spirit, can you please clarify the seven of swords? Yeah. It's hoping after this type of behavior, again, it's hoping that this divine feminine will choose him or her. Okay, we've got hope here. The bottom of the deck, we've got consolation. So this divine masculine is seeing the divine feminine as a consolation. I also feel like it's hoping that this divine masculine is even hoping that they could be able to, to provide the divine feminine for cons as a, a consolation for this type of behavior. Okay. Um, in terms of just, um, it's like making amends. That's what I'm hearing. Making amends for this type of behavior. Okay. Consolation. Because the thing is, is that it's this divine masculine. Also, it's a realization that this hurt this. Not only did this, 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 um, cause conflict and, and hurt and mental conflict to this divine feminine, but it did this, it, it caused the same to them. Okay. On the other side of the deck, we've got, yeah, for this. So it is the hope this divine masculine is hoping they could be able to make amends for this, for this melancholy is for, um, this divine feminine, you know, feeling in this place of, of feeling, feeling down about this with melancholy, feeling sad or down about this. Okay. That this is that seven of swords caused this, caused this melancholy right here. Angels of spirit, can you please clarify? Um, we're going to go ahead and clarify the hanging man, the hanging man. So this divine masculine seeing um, the divine feminine as this young woman being very vital, fertile, um, abundant. I'm even feeling this like even that type of like empress type of energy here with this young woman. Um, but seeing the divine feminine in this in this light. Um, really hoping that. They've had to come to realizations this divine masculine has, but they're really hoping that this divine feminine will also be able to do that. Okay. Um, see things from a different perspective at the bottom of the deck we've got child so I'm feeling with this um, child right here with this hanging man got the young woman um, I'm feeling in terms of this I'm feeling like this is uh, this is being able to have a child is also being able to have a new start okay have a fresh new start okay On the other side of the deck, we've got room, being able to have that intimate connection with the room. Okay. This, this divine masculine is really hoping this divine feminine will be able to have like a, want to have a completely new start with him or her. Okay. That may resonate differently with y'all in terms of with the children and, you know, whether there is a ch you know, children involved as well. But I'm, the strong download I'm getting with that is that we do have, um, we do have that wanting to just have a new start with the child and with the room is having a fresh new start and making a decision to do that with the two, with the two of wands. Angels and spirit, can you please clarify the two of wands? Two of wands. Yeah. It's just like making a decision, hoping that to have that fortune. Okay. Really hoping it's this divine mask is hoping this divine feminine will choose him or her with the hopes of being able to have that fortune. Okay. The bottom of the deck, we've got misfortune right here. Yeah. After misfortune. Okay. Another side of the deck. Yeah. Waiting. There's a, there's an understanding this seven of swords will, you know, I feel like this is part of what the, was the effect of this seven of swords and having someone that was like waiting. Okay. Hoping, waiting for things to improve. 
Um, and this, this wasn't his fortune here. And this, this divine masculine is hoping this divine feminine will choose him or her, um, in lieu of all of this, in lieu of everything that happened in the past. Okay. All right, y'all. But this divine feminine is having to make a choice. The other download I'm getting is just that even more so, I feel this is communication with to this divine feminine about this behavior, but this divine masculine even is just even even further having a dish of more and more epiphanies about what this divine like who this divine feminine is to him or her okay that's the other thing that i'm getting all right angels of spirit what well, god it's, it's oh my that flipped right out okay it's passion right here Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This divine masculine has a lot of passion for this divine feminine, but they know that it's up to this divine feminine to make a decision on how they want to move forward with him or her. Okay. But has a lot of passion. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we've got attraction. Um, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I feel like what's beautiful is if God divine feminine that even after all of this difficulty, um, we got divine feminine that are in this place with this queen of wands and just being just very like enjoying life and going for it and doing things in, in their lives and like what things they've been thinking about doing, they're moving forward with it. They're not sitting and waiting. Um, that came up with this, with this two of wands is that, have, they're hoping, this divine master is hoping to have that fortune after they know there was a misfortune with this divine feminine that was waiting, waiting for things to get better, waiting for things to improve during that karmic cycle, okay? But they see, uh, this divine master sees this divine feminine as very, very, very attractive and, and really going after and really living his or her life, not waiting to live her life, okay? Live his or her life, Okay? That's why I've got attraction here. Yeah, in past life relationship, you've known each other before. And that's just, that's the nature of just the twin flame connection, okay? But what's cool is that this divine masculine, they may not be able to put a name on it and say twin or, but they do know that there's a deep connection here, okay? All right, y'all. Okay, I am sending y'all lots of love and light. I'm wishing y'all a wonderful weekend. I say it every Friday, but do something for yourself this weekend, no matter how how big or small. Do something for yourself. Um, I'm a huge advocate of self care, and really do something for yourself every day. But if you have not this week, please do something for yourself um, this weekend and take care. And I'm sending you lots of love and light. Bye. <laughs>